Hello. All right. I was going to move on in the book, but I decided I wanted to pause for a moment going through the book because something that I said in the last video made me think about wanting to share a little bit more about that aspect. So I said something about the, um, the seasons uh, that families go through that changes their homeschooling from year to year. And I gave an example of having babies being a season and then death in the family being another season or type of change or um, uh, dads being deployed. <clears throat> um, I wanted to say that one of the wonderful things about homeschooling is being able to dig in deep to the real life education of the different seasons of a family and what you learn in those seasons that you would not learn in a school environment, in a school building. <clears throat> One of the things that changed my mind on that, that was part of my journey towards homeschooling before I even was thinking about homeschooling was a family locally that um, I was introduced to through my mother-in-law actually who is uh, very supportive of homeschooling. I um, have the rare privilege of being supported by not only my husband who's happy that we're homeschooling but also my in-laws who are supportive and my own dad who is supportive as well. And those things are very rare. Um, most of the time there's going to be a problem with one of those three um, parts of the family. And I am very privileged and blessed that uh, I don't have problems with those parts. <laughs> so anyway, my mother-in-law introduced me to a family years ago that um, it just so happened that I had to um, take this mother to the airport one day and um, in the process and so she has five kids and she was going somewhere and um, I picked her up and she proceeded to describe to me um, the busyness of their household in the process of her getting ready where um, because she was packing her bags um, one of her kids needed to work on preparing the um, uh, meal for the day. I think she was making a salad or something like that. And a couple of her other kids were running around the house helping her collect things for her trip to pack into her bag. And um, she very um, graciously described to me these little details that went into her being gone, the mother being gone, and therefore what the kids were going to have to um, take over and do for the next several days and the process of her getting ready. And she explained um, that she really valued the fact that her kids um, got the chance to see what goes into preparing for a trip um, and preparing the household for um, a uh, key household member, such as the mother, to be gone. <laughs> and um, that all of her kids contributed to the effort in getting her out of the house. And um, she's a wonderful person, very gracious, kind, and loving person. Her kids are amazing and um, wonderful people to speak with um, and um, I think very highly of her family and always have and this was significant to me realizing that um, such a relatively simple life situation could be education as well and how much value that brought to the family in terms of when they see it as education, then you kind of focus in on it as an important detail that builds you as a person and and puts that into you as something that you learn and then you take with you um, for when you need it. Now, obviously, there are situations like that that, you know, not, not because you're homeschooled, you learn those things. It has more to do with what you're, you as a parent focus in on. But when you're homeschooled, you have more opportunities to have those kind of situations and, and um, lean into those life education situations. And uh, so, for example, if there's been a death in the family, then um, yes, um, schooling will stop for a time, but the kids get to see and observe what goes on in a household where uh, such a shocking situation has happened. And usually, uh, what's built into them is compassion and um, uh, a sense of um, selflessness, um, if that's what the parent is focusing in on. And like I said, it, it's not necessarily the homeschooling that's doing that. It's, not, it's because it's not that public school kids wouldn't be getting this. It's just that because of the homeschooling, you have the time 
um, and the uh, mentality to focus in on that as an educational piece <clears throat> of life. And uh, so, and another example is a, a birth in the family. When um, we had the wonderful surprise of having Ezekiel, who is our youngest, um, arrive in our family. Uh, the preparation for him was extensive for the several months before he arrived. And then once he was here and all of the um, kind of settling in that took place and the kids having to help out and um, um, just put in their effort, it was amazing. And they are uh, very confident in helping out babies now as a result. And while that's not something that you would think of as being important in terms of higher education, they're young kids and it just builds into them a um, life skill that is really valuable to the people who come visiting my house because my kids are very accustomed to little other little kids. And, um, and I like that a lot. I like that they get that, um, real life education on a regular basis. So uh, that's something that I just treasure. And I know a lot of other parents do as well. And you could listen to stories for hours from all kinds of homeschooling parents about what their kids have learned in terms of just being around. Uh, whereas, uh, you know, if, if they were in school, then they just wouldn't get that exposure because they'd be away and then they, they miss a lot of what, what goes on um, during the day. So <clears throat> it's cool. So that's one of the things I wanted to stop and say.